Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, haven't done a video in a while, but I'm out here today. It's March 12th, and uh, I'm gonna make a video. First one this year. Uh, people keep asking me, hey, how's your bees doing? And well, the short answer is they're not. Um, I lost every hive this winter that I had. Of course, most of my hives were fairly young hives and not very strong. Uh, these are all that I've got left. And the reason I've got these out here is because there is honey in them. There, there's, that's all honey right there. There was, they had plenty of food. I don't know what happened. Sorry about that. Had a bee in my hair, stung me on the finger. Dang. Where were we after getting stung on the finger by a bee that randomly flew and got stuck in my hair? I'm not even doing anything. That just happened to be a uh, wrong place at the wrong time. When I went to get her out, she got me right on the finger. So, um, so anyway, my, my hives died. I don't have any hives except for my colony in the trash, in the uh, gas can here. And as you can see, they're doing pretty good. And what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to cut open a small section of this gas can. I just saw one go in there. She was loaded down with pollen. They're bringing pollen in. That's a good thing. Um, I'm going to cut open a little hole in this gas can because Sunday I plan on moving this gas can into a hive, an actual hive. I'm going to do a cutout and uh, we're gonna locate them into a hive so that I don't have a bunch of trash sitting in my yard. And uh, plus, they need a proper hive. Um, they could get along just fine in this trash can. There's plenty of room in there to have a very large hive, but that black can gets really hot in the sunshine. So I'm going to uh, move them into one of these hives that I've got set up, and uh, we're gonna do that on Sunday, weather permitting. But what I plan on doing is uh, I plan on cutting probably right around this area here. I'm, I'm gonna cut a hole in here big enough to stick my phone into. And I'm gonna turn the camera on and stick my phone down in there and uh, just see what I can see. I wanna see how much they've built out in wax, how much frames or um, how much uh, comb might be in there. And that'll give me an idea on uh, how big a hive I'm gonna need. And also give me an idea on their temperament and see how well tempered they are. So um, all, I'm, I've, all I've got on right now is uh, short sleeves and um, pants. I am going to put on my veil and I'm going to put on my gloves. And if they start getting ill, then I'll go suit up. But uh, hope you enjoy the video. All right, here we are. You can see the entrance to the uh, tank right over here. If they start getting ill, they might start pouring out of there. Um, Again, I'm just in short sleeves. I do have my gloves on up to my ankle, my elbows, but um, I'm in short sleeves in a t-shirt. I ain't really got a whole lot of protection on. I do have my veil on, um, but if they get bad, I'm gonna go put my suit on. I just, it's a, it's a little warm and I didn't want to have to do that. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna cut a hole on this side and uh, see if we can't get a glimpse into their world. Better make sure there ain't nothing under here. I hate to be sitting on this thing and be a snake under it. bothered by it. They're not even really checking me out. They're just like they don't care. I mean, this thing is vibrating pretty daggum good. They don't mind, though. I'm going to keep going. All right. 
here's where it gets interesting. Let's see what this looks like. All right, I went and found a light. So I'm gonna stick the camera in there. I'm gonna stick the light in. Oh, all right, she looked a little ill. Um, I wanted to see if there was comb and stuff like that up in there and there is there's definitely comb I know that I know they've got to have a queen. I know they're raising brood But I wanted to see what their temperament was and these bees are very calm I mean, I'm I was over here sawing on this thing Vibrating it pretty good and they didn't care. They didn't care one bit. They, it didn't bother them one bit so um Sunday boys are going to come over and we're going to cut this thing open i'm going to cut off probably right where i started at maybe up a little bit further and uh we're going to get these out of here there's some spider webs down in there bees getting caught in the spider webs there might be even a black widow living in there it looked like a black widow web and so she's eating really good and if not then at least the bees are dying in the web still so they need to come out and uh give them a better home something that can manage their uh temperature a little bit better because that black on that thing it's super hot so uh stay tuned to the video hope you guys enjoy my videos keep watching uh reminder it's swarm season be on the lookout for bee swarms and again i've posted a couple pictures about what they look like um they're they're you generally harmless when they're in this state because they're just trying to find some place to make a home all right but still unless you're an experienced beekeeper don't mess with them call somebody that can deal with it call us at hayfield hives myself or zach we've posted our numbers i'll post it again and um if you have a bee problem you got bees in your house bees in your car bees in your gas tank call us we'll take care of it thanks for watching